Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows Update on Windows 10 and Windows 11 has the ability, as many of you will know, to be able to detect and install drivers automatically for the different hardware components installed on your system. As an example, your display and sound drivers. Now, for most users, these drivers that are installed um, through the Windows Update process will be enough to get the job done. But for some users, um, in a lot of circumstances, as you may well know, um, the drivers that are pushed automatically through Windows Update are not always the best drivers because they are not the latest drivers that a lot of users do require. As an example, um, for your GPU display card and your display drivers. Now, if you would like to stop and prevent these drivers from being installed automatically on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, then just a quick video to show you how you can actually do this. And it's a very simple process, actually. And you can follow the steps in this video um, for both operating systems. Now, although you can actually do this through the group policy editor, um, I know a lot of the home versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11 do not include a group policy um, editor, but nonetheless, there is a setting you can adjust through the settings menu, which I would suggest would be the simplest way to get the, uh, the job done, so to speak. And to disable those drivers from being downloaded and installed automatically, first of all, head to your settings menu. On the system page, click on about at the bottom and on the about page, here you'll see a link, Advanced System Settings. Click on that. Now what this will do when you click on that link, well, it will open the Legacy System Properties menu. And here at the top, you will see a Hardware tab. Click on that Hardware tab. And here under Device Installation Settings, click on the tab Device Installation Settings. And this will open up a sub-menu which reads, Do you want to automatically download manufacturers, apps, and custom icons available for your devices. Obviously, the recommended, which is the default option, is yes. And we want to change that to no. So you click on no, and just take note, your device might not work as expected. And the reason for that is because obviously now those OEM, original equipment manufacturer drivers, are not now being pushed um, through the Windows update process. And you click on Save Changes and then just OK your way out of that menu. And now after you complete those steps, uh, your system will stop installing driver updates for your computer through Windows Update. So, and obviously now, because those driver updates are um, disabled now, you will obviously have to manually download and install those drivers from the actual equipment manufacturer's website. So just take note of that. And if you want to um, undo the changes, it's actually quite simple. You just head back, click on Advanced Settings. You just repeat the process. Head back to the Hardware tab, click on Device Installation Settings, and you just change that option back to Yes, which is recommended. That's if you want to undo the changes and restore uh, those drivers from being downloaded and installed automatically. And just take note, though, um, if we just head back to Windows Update, and we head to our Update History, just to put this all into perspective, when we click on the Driver Updates tab, um, these are the drivers, as mentioned, which now will be stopped from being downloaded and installed automatically. And just take note, though, that this process will only disable the hardware installation with drivers from the Windows Update that are being downloaded and installed through Windows Update on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So just take note of that. So that's how you can quickly disable those um, drivers from being downloaded and installed automatically through Windows Update on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.